Hello YouTube, this video here is basically a look into a call recorder. So as of now there's been lots of changes, some apps have come in, gone back out and then there's been uh, legislation passed where you can't record if you're in certain parts of Europe. I'm in UK so that applies to me. So basically from things like Samsung, if we take that example from the SA onwards, you can't install uh, call recording apps on an unrooted phone. So we're going to try here because there's a couple of things uh, that we can try. So the first thing is with this phone here I'm going to test it and this is a call recorder app that I've used and it's called Accept. And as you can see here this shows the call recording however when you play Nothing plays. Some of you might even not get this far because it's not actually recording anything at all. So at this stage, the Call Recorder app, this is what it's called, believes it's recording something, shows you a recording file, but it should actually show a wavelength like this, which shows you that there is something to actually play. So we need to get it back to a state where it's recording and you can play that back and you'll just play here. So at the moment, it's it's not working so it should be at the stage where most of you are if you're looking at this video so what we want to do is first make sure you install this call recorder app so i'm going to show you this one this is the one by Axit, and as you can see the github link here now you need to install this through magisk okay so this is magisk and then you'll be on the home page here. This is an updated version of Magisk. So if you haven't seen this, it's only just recently come out in January 21. You will need to update it, or you should update it. I'm just going to toggle over to the modules here. That's changed now. And you need to go to online and then search and then type in Access Call Recorder. Once you've downloaded that, it may ask you to reboot the phone and then you need to toggle it to the right to indicate that's on. So that would be off, that would be on. Okay, so I need to come out of that. That will install this app. So you don't need to go into things like the Aurora Store or F-Droid if it is there and download it directly. You need to install Call Recorder through Magisk. That's the key part here. All right, so that's the first part done. You also need to go in and download Call Recorder from Cube ACR. Now these are two different apps, but on this particular version or in this particular way, I found them to work. If you don't have one or the other, the Call Recording doesn't work. So until I find a different fix, this works. So it'll have to do. So install Call Recorder. We'll install that. Now, I'll just uh, recap on the details. Now, the settings will vary from country to country, from phone to phone, even network providers. So just in case you need to know, this particular tutorial may work on different phones. But in my case, it's a Samsung S7 Edge. And it's been routed. And it's got the Lineage OS 17.1. So they're the key differences here. Whether or not that makes a difference, you'll have to test it on your particular phone. But this is my current setup and it's working. So we'll open this. We'll just agree to the permissions because without that, it won't work. Enable the overlay. Now I've got to say Cube ACR I had on my non-rooted Android phone and it worked perfectly. It was on the S6 and then I upgraded to an S8 and that's when I realised um, it's actually blocked by Google and Samsung um, as part of new legislation. So uh, I've gone back to a previous line, S7, which still appears to allow the call recording. So we'll come out of this, leave Cube ACR um, on all the defaults, and particularly in my case, there are recommendations to change it, but I didn't need to in my situation. You need to enable the app connector. So 
So you just switch that on, allow that. We need to disable power optimization for cube. That's okay. And we don't need geotagging in this case. Okay, so let's say you're all set to go. I'm going to click phone. And then you can type someone's number. I don't want to do that just yet. I'm going to come back over to the Axet app. You want to go into this settings. Now, call recordings here will be unchecked. So yours will look like this when you first install it. We want to tap that, give it any permissions that it needs. Um, double check it yourself, but the permissions that it asked for were the ones that I expected, so I had no issues on my side. And you should see a little message pop up here saying call recording enabled. So let's just watch out for that. There we go, recording enabled. We'll leave the call recorder app on all the defaults. As you can see, I've got enough memory here, 22 gigabytes or just over, so we'll come out of that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to test the phone and call someone. Okay, so here we have my S7 on the left here. And this is the one that we've been doing the changes on, or I've been showing you on the video. And on the right here is a phone that I'm just going to call so we can test out the recording features. So let's just have a look here. Go to the phone app. We'll call this phone here. Okay, as you can see on the left, here's the cube recording. It's already started. If we want to turn that off, we can, but just leave it. Just let that go. And here's the phone ring. So I'm going to pick this up. And now I'm talking on the phone. So this would be your recipient. And this is on the S8. I'll leave that back. And now I'll take this phone. So now I'll be talking on the S7, which is the caller. In your case, this would be yourself. So the reason I'm speaking on both phones is so that we can hear it back on the playback and you can notice any differences. So we'll just leave that there. And we'll end the recording. So let's go to the playback. So we need to go to the Call Recorder app, which is here. And now this is the latest call. So hopefully we should see some wavelengths. There we go, perfect. So that's the wavelengths. Now you can just test the call volume with this, but here the wavelengths are quite low, which means it's picked up the recording. However, it may be of quite a low volume. So we'll play that back and we'll just listen to it. So I won't talk now, we'll just hear the playback. Okay, so I've stopped it there. So you may not be able to hear it very clearly. However, I can confirm it has recorded both sides. That's the test complete and it has recorded both the caller and the recipient. So as a summary, you need to install Accept Call Recorder, which is this, through Magisk. Ensure the toggle is turned on. When you come back to the app, you need to ensure call recording is turned on. It will show call recording enabled and ensure that you have Cube ACR also on. That needs to be installed from Aurora Store, as you probably noticed earlier in the video. 
So they need to be on both together. So hopefully that's been useful. Thank you for watching.